Hi Travelers, Tara here, Hidden Lotus Tarot, and I'm coming to you today with a full moon elemental reading for the air signs. Um, Gemini, which is your time right now, um, the sun is in Gemini, uh, Libra and Aquarius. Um, I would like for you to stay tuned after the video because I have several announcements. I think you're going to love them. Um, so please make sure that you stick around for that. Um, we do know that Neptune stationed retrograde um, on Tuesday, or it might have been Monday, I don't know, but it's also gone into retrograde. I don't even know what day it is. So for some of us, that means we're going to be able to see a situation and or a person for the first time in its true light, meaning we're going to be, you know, the fog's going to lift and we're going to be able to step back, take off the rose tinted glasses and actually look at a situation for what it is. Now, the thing about Neptune is that, and this retrograde is there will be times when the fog will lift and times when the fog will descend back. But um, it stays retrograde until November 29th, I believe. It might be 24th, I'm not exactly sure. But I think five months is plenty enough time to, once when the fog clears, to look at some things and uh, see them for what they are or people for who they are and then when the fog descends back maybe that's an opportunity for you to uh, go down deep and see what illusions or beliefs that you have um, and if they need to change surrounding a situation well basically about yourself because it, uh, Neptune represents the hangman now um, Mars goes direct on the 29th so anywhere where you've been feeling stuck once the energy of Mars kicks in, um, and usually it takes about, I don't know, three to four days, sometimes a week for a planet to really get back up to speed. Um, so wherever Mars has been falling in your house, maybe you've been feeling some restrictions there, or like you just don't have the energy to deal with it. Because um, Mars is all about your fighting spirit and your energy, your willpower and your desire. This is a general reading messages will not resonate with everyone this is a uh, full moon elemental for the air signs um, in which case if the messages don't resonate check your moon and rising sign I'm posting uh, the four elementals today okay so here we go nine cards well I have a king of cups who shot up well well this don't even look like air. Look at there. There's Neptune. And the Strength card. Now, this is quite... Um, an interesting dynamic to look at. Because what I saw for the Earth signs and what I saw for the Fire signs is this theme of harnessing uh, your energies. Harnessing your thoughts. Harnessing your willpower uh, and your desires. And as if the, the theme is that you're being asked to do this or you're being faced with situations or uh, people who are kind of maybe pushing your buttons a little bit, you know, and instead of reacting... Um, maybe as you normally would, you're being asked to just kind of sit on that for a minute um, because maybe you don't have all of the information yet. Um, and for those of you who have been kind of holding back, um, perhaps the cards are saying the same, the general theme is to either wait to see, wait to see which way things are going to go. Um, Really, okay, in the center I have the Knight of Cups, and we know that the Knight of Cups uh, represents an offer. Now, typically, you know, most readers just want to say, oh, this is a, a, a lover, a new potential lover on the horizon. Yes, that's true. That's very true. Um, for some of you air signs, this could be uh, a water sign, a fire sign, and maybe even it's another air sign. Okay, um, 
But if it is not, if you have been more focused on your work or home life or career, then what this says is that there, there's a, a new element to be introduced. If it hasn't happened already, it will be coming around this full moon. It's as if the full moon's going to trigger it. And um, whatever this offer is, it has the potential to make you feel um, very good, okay? If this is not an actual person. Now, some of you have really, air signs have been kind of working very hard. Maybe you've been, you know, have taken on so many responsibilities and you're feeling burdened, you're feeling tired, and you're just trying to um, maintain, uh, you know, just one step at a time, one step at a time. Well, the world card, Saturn, uh, Saturn is the father of time and um, he likes to take things very, very slowly. It's not that he doesn't like to grant you whatever it is that you're working on. It's, he's asking you to go slow because, you know, you may miss something, but you're coming to an end of a cycle with this. Okay. And it can involve this king of cups, this water sign person, a uh, cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, but it could also be asking you to if you've been feeling in this space, okay, after it's all over, you're going to kind of feel like this because we can all embody the different qualities of the different suits at any time. Now, I don't necessarily see any women in the spread except for um, this woman in the center. Um, and this could be about a woman and maybe two men. But if this is a same-sex relationship, this could be um, whomever is going to take the male and the female role, but it could also just simply be about the different aspects that you're going to be asked coming out of this or going into this full moon that you need to harness and embody yourself. I do feel that there is a um, water sign male involved in this who may also have some fire in his chart or vice versa. Um, or who may have all three elements of earth, water, and uh, fire, because this is an earth card, okay? And that's why I'm saying earth. Now, whatever this situation, whether this is you or someone else, what I see is that um, there is some new, something new has started. Now, this could be a message, an exciting message, news. Maybe there's a trip coming. Maybe uh, you are visiting your father or your father may be coming to visit you. Um, maybe this is someone, it could be a boss who is in power, control, and command. Um, but this is also speaks to me of a spiritual journey. And what's quite unique and quite different uh, for me is looking at this vertical column on the left. For some of you, you've really been going through some spiritual issues and it's been a real struggle for you, but now you're about to embark on a new one. This card comes in to tell me that uh, you have been working very, very hard on trying to identify uh, what you need to feel fulfilled spiritually. For some of you, and I don't want you to get this confused to say that this person, if this is a person for you, is the one who's going to fulfill you spiritually, but simply that it could be that this person maybe having come in contact with them is having you look at your spirituality in a different way. Okay. Um, and you're getting this news or these messages and you're starting to feel very good about yourself. Maybe some of you are starting to feel powerful. Okay. And starting to, to, uh, put in place more boundaries and more stability in your life. Maybe you are getting your finances, a handle on your finances. Maybe this is, you know, you've decided you were going to drop 20 pounds and, and you've harnessed that energy and you're, you're focused on the direction and the goal. But, you know, it, because look, I have the fool. I have the ending and I have the beginning. Okay. And the fool card is all about, um, Staying open to the process. It is about uh, not allowing fear or negativity to come in and mar the experience. That's not to say that um, 
let's say if you're trying to get together with someone and it seems as though life circumstances have been preventing that for whatever reason, that that's not going to happen. Or let's say, for instance, if you know, you've been struggling with something or someone and um, you're being asked to try to maintain um, an emotional balance here um, and not allow any negativity or, you know, bad things, um, stress or burdens or uh, self-limitations of, of outside situations uh, mar the process. You know, sometimes we, if we interact in a certain situation with certain people and the same thing keeps occurring, the same thing keeps occurring. And finally, you just like you give up and you say, you know what, it's never going to change. Well, we don't know that. And so that's what the fool card comes in to tell you is to stay open to the process. All right. Um, you, we have the magician here and this is a beautiful line. The world card, the knight and the magician. Now in the old decks, this would be, this would be the last card. Okay. Which would make this the first card. Um, in the newer decks, the world goes at the beginning. He is before the magician. Okay. And this is the last card. So either way, the message that I'm getting is this is really, for you air signs, a real opportunity to start new in many different areas of your life. This could be in a relationship situation. It could be in a personal situation. It could even be in a work situation. But definitely this is a spiritual awakening, sort of, so to speak. Some of you may be getting those hints, those signs. This is a spiritual awakening and you're being asked to look at those things in the past and take stock of them. Okay. Take stock of them and take the things that make you feel good and keep you in this space. Okay. And move forward, maintain your balance and your boundaries and stay focused and determined on what it is you need to do. Because whenever this new cycle kicks in, you're going to be required to really, really balance your will with your intentions. And this is also um, being very, very cautious of your thoughts because this is a time of great manifestation. Now, what's interesting to me is that the hangman kind of comes in to say, I'm telling you all these beautiful things. And all of a sudden, it's like there's a halt. There's a waiting period. There's a time frame. And really, um, it's because you're going to be asked to really, really look at some things in a different light. And maybe you haven't really had that clarity yet, you know, and it's like all of a sudden circumstances change. You've got this new thing and you've got this new energy and you've got this new life and this new desire and things are just percolating and going. Maybe it's in a relationship. Maybe it's at work. Maybe it's in your personal life, as I said, but maybe you don't have all of the information yet. Okay. Maybe you don't. Um, and if this is a situation where it's two guys, um, be it same sex or heterosexual relationship, what are you rushing into? You may not have all of the information yet. And so the strength card says two things. It says to harness those wild desires. Okay harness them and work in a controlled manner, control your desires, control your wants, control your needs. Okay. Because it's going to serve you in the end. But if you can gain some clarity through Neptune, through the hangman, see here, now he's standing on one leg. Okay. And that when you stand on one leg, you can't really move a whole, you can hop around. Okay. But you can't really, you can't really walk. You can't really move the way that you need to, you don't have that freedom to move in the way that you want. And maybe even for some of you, you might have had like a health issue where you're having some issue with a leg, maybe, you know, or a hip or something like that. But it basically says that you're not able to move as freely as you would think or as you would like. So harness that. And then once you can gain the real clarity that you need, this card speaks to a risk. You see that chick is holding the mouth open of that lion and that's a risk because she don't know if she stick her hand in there, if he's going to bite it off or whatever. So this is also about a risk, taking a risk, which is why I tell you to stay open to the process. Now, I don't really see anything in this spread that uh, kind of stands out to me. I do want to take a look at what the emperor is talking to me about. Uh, 
why the hanged man is kind of self-explanatory in one sense. And look, I have this beautiful, the fool, the magician, and the hanged man. Uranus, Mercury, and Neptune. Okay. And Leo is the next transit that I have coming up. So perhaps during the time of Leo is when we're going to be able to move forward in the manner in which we should. Um, let's see what the emperor is all about. Okay. Maybe this is a relationship between two people that is really not that equal as of yet. Some things have to be worked out. But there is definitely either something new that has come in that where you feel like it's going to relieve your burdens or help you to balance your stress a little bit more. I'm going to look at that hanged man. I, I was thinking that I wouldn't, but I I'm going to. Actually, I'm not even going to look at the emperor. I'm going to look at the hangman. These are two different aspects, I think, of one person. Um, this king also has to maintain balance. So he's got two things and he's floating on the water. This emperor already has his balance because that comes from, maybe this is the way the person presents themselves, uh, themselves, I think that's right, themselves. Um, or maybe this is a position in which he holds. Maybe this is something the person aspires to, to be like this person. Um, but in my eyes, an emperor is a way above a king. So maybe this is about someone growing into a particular aspect of themselves. But we also know, and whenever I see these two cards together, okay, it makes me question whether or not someone is having issues with uh, substance abuse, um, drinking, or drugs or becoming so emotionally despondent or so emotionally involved um, that they are losing themselves. Neptune is all about deception and illusion, self-deception, reality versus um, illusion, fantasy versus real life. So, you know, whenever I see these two cards together, I, I, I do like to give that interpretation. Um, and maybe this is what needs to happen here. Okay, and I, I brought that up because of the three cards that came out. Maybe it's someone making you feel drunk or drugged or out of balance. Because the three cards I have are this piacere, the tears, okay, the sadness, l'amante female or this is a shy, a woman who's very shy in her affections, or maybe perhaps not very demonstrative. Nevertheless, she has feelings. And then the mercante. Now, and if it is not about an actual person, then this is about the emotional state of someone. Maybe it is someone who it's kind of like this and maybe kind of wishy-washy but what they really feel inside is that but they can't tell they can't say they can't demonstrate it the mercante is uh, a businessman he does negotiations he does contracts um, and, and it, you know it's kind of weird and I can't really figure out what these are trying to tell me but I thought these these are very very three interesting cards um, to have come out on the hanged man as if the cards are saying you really don't have the full story just yet huh let me I don't know 
know which card to look at because there's obviously something new coming in this only through harnessing your willpower and your intentions and your thoughts with your actions you're gonna to have to marry all three of those things together because that is how the magician creates what he wants to do they are not telling me what this is about air signs and if for some of you air sun people you okay this does not resonate then this is definitely going to be for somebody's moon sign or their rising sign um, I'm not it's almost as if the hangman is also telling me I'm not supposed to know yet Wow, this is very enigmatic. Look, I can't pull anything else up out of this spread, so I'm going to leave it at that. I do hope this message helped you, air signs, uh, sun, moon, and rising. I do. Um, let me pull the cards up. Hmm. Underneath the deck, I have the Alegria. Pastime, happiness with family and friends, enjoyment. Leo. Maybe that's coming up around the 4th of July. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to pull this up. Uh, somebody was griping underneath one of my videos. Uh, you always say you don't know. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I know when I, when I don't. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I see something when I don't see it. Um, you don't like it, you can find somebody who will do that for you. Um, I literally, I don't know. The cards just shut up. As soon as I laid those three Sabilas, they just shut up and quit talking. So that's that. Um, let me go ahead and make my announcements. I have several. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is my friend Sally Kirkman. She's a, a British astrologer, a very uh, well-known British astrologer. She is actually the person who inspired me to do my pay what you want, which I will be trying to bring back at some point, probably before the eclipses. That ought to work really well or after. Who, who knows? But um, she is offering a pay what you want astrology reading. You get to ask one question um, and she'll take a look at your chart and kind of give you an idea of what's happening or advice if you need it. It could be in any area, family, love work, career, even spiritually, if that's what you need. Um, I'm going to put the link to her pay what you want to her site in the information box. Uh, she expects a donation. Okay. So, you know, do donate. Uh, astrology charts take a lot of time uh, to read and do. Uh, I don't know if it's more complicated than um, Akashic Records readings, but those, you know, those take some time. So, you know, um, and if you email her with your question, if you decide to take her up on the offer, please let her know in the email that Tara from Hidden Lotus Tarot um, has sent you, okay? Um, I love her style. She's great. Um, now, I have been really struggling. Um, I was talking to you at some reading about compartmentalization. I don't know which. It was, a, I think, a Casanova reading. And I've been struggling. Not that I keep things compartmentalized, but basically it's like all of a sudden life or the situation has separated my life into these different compartments and I'm trying to juggle and figure out what to do ah you know what the old interpretation of the magician is also known as the juggler ha huh. yeah so um anyway just thought I'd bring that up I don't know why that just came to me but I'm trying to find some balance you know I'm trying to find some balance and I've been really really struggling with that a lot and so there are three ladies here on YouTube if you don't know them and you don't subscribe I recommend that you go over and you check out their channels uh, Christelle Martinet who is also my mentor 
uh, Louisiana Lou, and Tanya over at Mystic Souls Tarot. Okay, uh, and these ladies have been very, very kind and very good to me and, and giving me counsel. As a tarot card reader, I can see things for other people, but I'm not always able to see things for myself. My friend's like, oh, you didn't see that coming in the cards? Funny. Ha ha. No, it doesn't work like that. So um, at least it doesn't for me. So I, I've really been needing some counsel on what it is that uh, I'm trying to be shown or I just can't figure out what quote unquote that I'm doing wrong or what it is that I'm missing or um, which way I need to, where do I really need to focus my energy? Because it's like when I, you know, okay, well, I'm going to go over here and focus my energy on this. Then something else crops up and I got to pull my attention away from that and then focus on this. So I, I really feel very, very out of balance right now. And these ladies have been wonderful in giving me counsel and just trying to keep me on you know, on the line or as close to the line as I possibly can and maintain my balance. So uh, again, that's Louisiana Lou, Tanya over at Mystic Souls, and um, Christelle Martinet. Uh, the last announcement I'm going to make is that uh, Louisiana Lou and I are going to get together uh, July 3rd, the weekend of July 4th. Uh, here in South Texas, we're going to be on the island, the beach, around Corpus Christi, not Padre Island. Okay, Lou was trying to go all the way down there. I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, no, so we're going to do it here in, in uh, uh, we're on Padre Island, not South Padre Island. It's two islands. So we're the one by Corpus Christi, Texas. Okay, that's what you need to know. And we're going to be on the beach. Uh, we're actually going to be filming some videos on the beach, doing some readings on the beach and uploading to YouTube. But we're also going to, any subscribers in this area, Corpus Christi area, uh, that can get to the beach uh, around this time. If you show up in person, we're going to be offering many readings for donations. And yeah, we expect donations. So don't be coming like, you ain't got no money. We expect donations. Um, I also understand that some people will be traveling. Some people will be doing, you know, um, free, I mean, uh, family reunions and whatnot that live in this area. And you may not be able to um, get out to the beach. But if you can, we would love to see you there. Um, this would be an opportunity for you to meet the two of us in person and then we get an opportunity to meet some of you in person um, and that's always very very nice a, a great exchange of energy and to actually see some of the faces behind the camera so um, I look forward to seeing and hearing from some of you about that you will not need an appointment if you show up just come out and uh, we'll try to have a canopy or something so you can recognize us maybe with some balloons or some crap so you can recognize it because the beach is gonna be nuts that weekend. Um, and so I hope this uh, message helped you, Air Signs. Again, please click the link and go over to Sally Kirkman's website if you're interested in the free, the pay what you want astrological reading. I'm getting mine done. So there you go and namaste.